We want to share some recent work our lab has done in understanding cholesterol levels. Elevations in LDL cholesterol cause cardiovascular disease and are very important in preventing and treating disease. However, separating the genetic, physiological, and dietary influences of blood cholesterol in humans can be a challenge. To understand what drives blood cholesterol in mice, we evaluated diversity outbred mice and asked what explains variation in their blood cholesterol. Diversity outbred mice are derived from the interbreeding of eight founder strains and each mouse is genetically unique. We used data from 840 mice, both male and female, randomized to either a controlled chow diet or a high fat, high sucrose diet. We used a machine learning approach called a regression tree inputting 162 clinical and morphological phenotypes and use these to identify what predicts serum cholesterol. The first predictor was the diet, with high fat, high sucrose diet increasing cholesterol by 33 milligrams per deciliter. The next best predictor was serum triglycerides. This was expected as hyperlipidemia and hypercholesterolemia are often comorbid with each other. To our surprise, the next predictor was serum calcium. As you can see, a one milligram per deciliter increase in serum calcium was associated with a 12.7 milligram per deciliter increase in cholesterol. And this is true in male and female mice across both diets. We looked into the literature and several human studies have reported positive associations between calcium and cholesterol and between serum calcium and cardiovascular disease. This is the first study in mice showing that this relationship is robust across diets and sexes. While we have some hypotheses, we don't yet know whether calcium increases cholesterol, whether cholesterol increases calcium, or if something else drives both. And we look forward to studying this in the future. Together, these data show the power of using diversity outbred mice as a tool of precision nutrition, allowing us to leverage genetic diversity under conditions of exceptional dietary and environmental control. We'd like to thank our co-authors, Kaelin Loftus and Gary Churchill, for their work on this study and for funding from the Undergraduate Research Opportunities Program at the University of Michigan, the Jackson Laboratories, and the National Institutes of Health. If you have any questions or thoughts about this study, please contact us at bridgeslab at umich.edu or on social at bridges underscore lab.